Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm a Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. We're actually doing the Zelos Swordfish 40 millimeter review. You can see here that we have the teal variant, and I've got a couple of watches that I'm going to put up to compare it to. But I'm going to give y'all, so if you don't watch my videos, because I know that they can be a little long, right? If you want the 30 second spiel, go buy this watch. It's amazing. That's it. Now, the trick is they're sold out. You could probably find them on the secondary market. I'm seeing them pop up every now and again. I will confirm you're probably going to pay a premium. Um, we'll talk about all the pricing stuff here in a little bit, but this watch is amazing. Now, there are pros and cons to everything, and this watch does have a couple of cons. I'm going to get to that towards the end of the video, but today we're looking at, let me zoom back out here, the Zelos Swordfish Stainless Steel 40 millimeter man that's a that's a name isn't it okay and for those curious you know you'd be like hey josh what are you wearing um i've got on this hamilton bolton or bull bolton well i don't know it's a hamilton automatic it's like a square but here's the cool thing about it y'all know i got a big wrist right eight inch wrist um this thing actually fits me so it's got kind of the styling cues of the reverso or the cartier tank but for like big wrist big wristed folks so i'll do a review of this it's on a strap coat bracelet i haven't even taken the, the peeling off of that yet but anyway the, the video is not about this one but this thing is amazing so uh to my buddy who just sold this to me i love it love it love it anyway back to what we're talking about here and that is the zelos now uh Somebody's going to comment and remind me that I'm pronouncing Zelos wrong. So I'll just thank you in advance for doing that, whoever that brave soul is. But we're looking at the swordfish. Remember the when it dropped this thing. So Elshin did a big batch of these. I want to say he had like a thousand to twelve hundred of them because he had a bunch of different variants. He had like six different variants, five or six different variants. He did an initial release price of two sixty nine. So if you know anything about Zelos or Zelos, Z Zela, Zelos, Zel, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe maybe I can get Elshin on the channel one day and have him pronounce it. And let me see what that sounds like. That might help all of us. So let's. Let's convince Elshin to do that, maybe, if I can get a big enough fall. So he does the new release pricing, and then at anywhere from, whatever, 30, 60 days after the new release price, they get bumped up to their normal MSRP. And so whatever stock is left, right, then they go up. So these are currently listed on the website at $349. And the reason they're at $349 is because that is what their MSRP is going to be, even though he released them at 269 and they got snatched up with a quickness. You can see, I don't have this sized up or anything, right? But eight inches, there's still a little bit of room here. There are some micro adjusts. Um, I could probably take a link out, um, but it wears good for what, for what it is. I can totally see though how the smaller wristed folks love this and jumped on it compared to the 42s so we'll get to some comparison shots in a second let me get this thing off so that we can finish talking about all the specs and then we will roll into comparisons and the pros and cons zelo says on the website that this is the greatest value zelos that they've ever done and i'm going to legit agree i'm going to absolutely agree the improvement of the bracelet so you can see how it has the chamfer chamfer edges however you pronounce that it they really stepped up the bracelet i was not a fan you'll notice that almost none of my swordfish are on their original bracelets because i don't care for them if that's a con of zelos that used to be but is now getting better than yay elshan the clasp is nice so it's your standard you know double class safety two button pushers milled right so you don't have a pressed thing there and i think even this it kind of looks like uh the same type of class that a press clasp and i don't know somebody correct me is that a press class or milled i don't know but i will say that it's got some heft to it it's definitely not you know cheap 
feeling. You can see it's got a whole bunch of micro adjust in there. I'm counting six, so you can see that. It does not have the quick release. So the micro adjusts, right, are your normal pin system here, and it doesn't have the micro adjust that we are getting ready to see on all the new Makos that are coming out, the uh, titanium 42 millimeter swordfish that are dropping, they're gonna have it. I'm pretty sure the Timascus are going to have it. And it is exactly like the Christopher Ward quick release. So one second, let me grab another watch. I just happened to be filming. I got like six Christopher Ward, no four. Christopher Ward sitting over here on the side. I think this is gonna happen, yeah. So you'll see that this Christopher Ward here has two button pushers and then you'll see right in here it's got a quick adjustment system so you can pull this with your thumb and you do need a little bit of a nail to get to it and it's a little difficult to maybe do oh no i've got that all the way out that's why okay if i pull this can I zoom in on that you pull this towards you you know towards the clasp and then these slide in and out and i have this one all the way set because I, this is a tour watch and i don't think it came with all the links so i had to loosen it up thankfully i can kind of wear it like that you will see this in a later video with a handful of other christopher wards but these bracelets you know christopher ward the more i handle them the more good they are or the more i appreciate them and a big one is this Chris quick adjust clasp and you'll notice that it's not super thick right like some of the glide locks and some of the other ones that you have so yeah so we'll just do that pull it back out but um el shan to keep the cost down on this he opted to have the regular clasp added to this instead of the quick adjust now i'm gonna be honest with you i think i don't know how much more those class cost but if it would have raised the price on this 20 30 bucks and kept it under 300 he should have done it, and they still would have flown off the shelf. He, he would have sold all of them in about the same amount of time that he had did. And that was within 10 or 12 hours, I want to say. And so that's just me. That might be a lesson learned for Elson in the future. I don't know. But, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, we're looking at an overall case width of 40. So let me see if I can get some measurements here. See, the case has this shape to it where the crown sticks out but you can see i'm at 40.5 depending on where you grab it right there right the bezel if i can get right across there you'll see 40.2 um the crown some of you guys like that 6.3 if i'm getting that right it's a little hard 6.5 to do around the camera it does have a 20 mil um lug width so you will use 20 mil straps which are the most common of almost anything in the world the bracelet does have a little bit of a taper so if we scroll down here you'll see about 17.7 just prior to the clasp so it has a little bit of a taper i will say it doesn't wear quite with the same taper that like the aura 65 does right this tapers down quite a bit and i love this aura 65 but yeah, so you can see the measurements on that. Overall, lug to lug, he claims like a 46, I believe. And yeah, we're at 45, depending on where you grab it. If I go to the very tip, 46.1. So in normal fashion, Elshin is pretty accurate with his measurements. Oh, he does claim 12 meter meter on the thickness. And you do see it, 12.3. And that's crystal and all. Um, now you can see, let me get right in here on that. It is a flat crystal. It's got inner AR coating, but you can see that it's got a little bezel, like a inside of the ceramic insert right here. It's got this nice uh, cut, oh, not octagon, how many, I don't know how many sides this thing has, I can count it, but it's got that that then puts onto this flat sapphire crystal. So it is sapphire inner AR coating. And you can see even under my studio lights, like every now and then when I put it right under the light, but even then you can still read it. Look at that. Even then you can still read the time because of the way that the hands play off that dial. It does have a screw down case back. It's etched. Now all of the ones come numbered. And thankfully you run your thumb on that and not cut your thumb. Uh, that was a problem with some earlier uh zealos or maybe the mako maybe the mako i can't remember some swordfish my teal my teal one i gotta sit next to me it does it too um nh35 movement now it does have a color matched date wheel so let's get zoomed in one more time and let's look at this and in my opinion this really really makes a difference can you see that the date window is color matched now just because i happen to have it sitting here you can see that 
the Helios has it, and it's a big plus, I think, unless it works into the design of the watch, which I always use the Hampton Kraken H2 uh, as an example of where he purposefully didn't do a color match because of the design, and I think he did the right thing there. Anyway, but color match date wheel, which is a big thing, especially at a watch this price. Again, the greatest value, I would agree. 200 millimeter, or I'm sorry, 200 meter water resistance. And for those of you who know, the 42 millimeter swordfish is 300. So here, for example, is the bronze. I'm going to do a whole separate comparison video. Oh yeah, this one cuts my thumb. Yep. Oh yeah, that hurts. Okay. So, but the 42 is 300 meters and so he did drop down the water resistance to this maybe to get it a little thinner maybe to get a little sleeker i think he's doing the right thing here i think the days where everybody wants an 18 billion meter water resistant depth of the ocean that we can't even reach because we'd all just implode right i think those days are, are are slowing down if not coming to an end and i think people now appreciate the watches for what they are but we don't need no thousand meter diver watch for those of us who don't even swim with our watches. No, 200 meters is more than enough. You can take this thing in the pool. You can do whatever you want to do with it. And you're not going to have any issues whatsoever for all of your daily life. And that's what people want. That's why he sold out of these in a matter of hours. So, or maybe that's just my opinion. It does have 120 click unidirectional bezel. The bezel action, well, let's do it real quick. It's nice. Um, you know, it does have this design like all the other swordfish do. And so it's not the grippiest, but you notice that I have no problem turning it. So um, it's got a nice bezel action. There's no back play at all. Um, you know, it settles. Oh, I went one over, that's gonna drop my OCD nuts. And let's get it back around. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nope. One more. There we go. And so you see it settles, but there's no back play. And it's a great bezel action, I think. Um, and I want to talk about real quick. Let's look at this. Zoom in here. That little triangle accent that he has, it gives this watch a little bit of a Black Bay 58 vibe. A buddy of mine in Discord, Casper, had mentioned that, and I agree. I think he had the Black Sand version. It has even more of a Black Bay 58 vibe because it has the red triangle. But it is interesting to see how that little triangle there compared to the old one. Let's just see. We just had a loom triangle, right? It's an it's a interesting and I think a good design choice, a good change. So there's that. But anyway, we are going to uh, talk about a couple of cons real quick. The bracelet. I've talked about this. I think you can go on the thing. Here's my only other beef. And I think he's fixed this because what I see of the other class, it doesn't have this this like racing stripe or whatever this thing is here you see there's like a brush finish underneath and above the zelos logo it doesn't continue to the second half of the thing now if you don't have ocd you may not care about that but i'm gonna be honest with you it drives me bananas like so bananas that i want to change this class so um i do not care for that at all like that drive that's so off kilter like uh it pains me to even look at it i'm gonna flip the watch back around because this as y'all know i think the teal dial is one of the greatest dials that zealous has ever produced and this is another example of it we do see some very cool looms so let me see if i can give it a charge let me see if that helps you well you can't really see the two-tone in that but i'm gonna turn off the lights in a second and we'll end with this and it is light, even though I got the shades drawn. And just look at that thing glow. Now you will notice there's no loom in the crown. So that is maybe another cost saving measure. But you can see how the minute track is kind of that bluish hue. I think that's the BGW9. And then you've got C3 X1 Super Luminova in the bezel and on the hands and on those giant sandwich dial indices and this thing is beautiful absolutely beautiful with that we'll end with the loom shot here i'll do a comparison video next so check back on that one when it publishes and until we talk again please remember what really matters and that's not watches keep the insanity sane my friends So 
So here we go. Uh, 269 release price, 349 MSRP. They are sold out, but you can find them every now and then. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. There's some legit scalpers out on the internet, particularly eBay. And I don't know, I try to warn y'all, don't fall for that nonsense. I mean, your money is your money and you can do whatever you want to do. But I wouldn't go buy one of these for $600 on eBay. Like, just don't, you know. Um, and and we'll talk about it. I'll probably do a, a part of my philosophy, Philosophical Fridays, whatever. Um, there's a difference between flipping a watch and scalping a watch and and i'm gonna be honest with y'all there are even folks in the zelos timekeepers group that are straight up scalpers there I, I i if it were up to me they wouldn't be a part of the group but that's just me so um but nonetheless yeah don't do that you, you don't need to do that to be able to get one of these okay just have a little bit of patience or wait for the next release to come out and just be diligent to set your reminder on your calendar to get one so enough of that rant. Mm -hmm.